In this video, we will see damage control suprasetabular pelvic external fixator application without CR. The case is a 9 year old girl who sustained open pelvic injury with communication to the vaginal wall after a wall collapsed on her. Pelvic AP X ray shows style B rotational instability with symphysis pure with diastasis. We're going to put suprasetabular X fix. So, this is anterior skin X spine. What we'll do is we'll come a little inferior and medial. We can actually palpate in the team patient like this one. We can actually palpate the anterior inferior leg spine and we can mark the skin marking right there. So in order to minimize the skin tainting, what we can do is actually close, close the pelvis down by bringing the, both the lower extremities together. That will help us minimize the skin tainting that might occur. Knife, please. So we can cross mark with the finger here. And and uh, so you can make a, an incision directed towards the umbilicus or horizontal incision depending on what we, uh, we like so we make an incision right where we're gonna have uh, a small artery please so the incision is up to the dermis we'll make a vertical uh, piercing towards this anterior inferior leg spine that's where the bone is i can feel it and then you open up slide it while it is still opened and now we have we can feel it so we can feel the inner plane of the pelvis with the homan like this so if you have a small uh, homan or anything that can go medial we can just you know put it to give us a direction of uh, where you want to go the other thing we need is a triple sleeve if you have a proper triple sleeve that would be useful if you don't have a proper triple sleeve use whatever you have uh, like this we are using two uh, drill bit sleeves uh, adjacent to each other because you don't have a proper uh, sleeve we're gonna use uh, the sleeve uh, that we have so it's anterior spine like spine again i just make sure that i'm right in the proper spot anterior inferior like spine right here just drill it the near cortex that's it i come out and i put the proper pin Then you know once I get it started, I will I will I will use an artery to my trajectory. So this is the artery. So I really need to put this down. So this is the trajectory that the pin wants to go. I will put it way down. So this is a trajectory, you can still see that, you know, I need to bring my hand down. So I'll bring it down, like this. You can leave it uh, inside the pelvis. So I'll just bring it down, advance it until I feel a resistance. So I am feeling a good bone. <coughs> So once I start feeling a resistance, that's when the tip is getting to a cortex. That's when I stop. So I'm feeling some resistance now already. So that's a good resistance that I'm feeling. So to just make sure that you are in a good bone, you should be able to lift the patient with a pill like this. So I'm comfortable with the way this pin is uh, placed. And the incision, as you see, is medial because we're gonna close the pelvis down. There will not be any skin tenting. So we'll do the same thing on the contralateral side. Let's give up. So we're gonna So he's marking a cross marking on the anterior spine. We we'll make a skin incision with the blade first. A little bit more down. The finger. So, is it, is it okay? Right here. Yeah. That should be enough. So, we're actually directed to the anterior inferior leg spine. Without opening, go all the way to the anterior inferior leg spine. 
<coughs> there you go. Put it on the anti-MPX pipe. Spread it open. Bring your uh, artery out while it is still open. Okay. Now you can direct your trajectory into the in inner wall with the same artery. So you should be able to feel the scratch of the inner one. Yeah, so the inner plate. Okay. So give him the triple sleeve now. Your finger, your hand, stomach. Yeah. So if you put your sleeve proximal, it will be in between the two spines. It will be a, a, a thin, bony window, and it will be very difficult to deal with there. If you go more distal, you will be you will end up into the joint, so you want to avoid going uh, distal. Just want the drill to start the pathway for the pin. You don't want it advanced any more than the start point. Okay, so as you can see, the trajectory is way flat. So you can fill it with your other artery. So this is, this is the trajectory, you need to really bring it down. This way, this way. yeah. Even more, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you can bring it out, the sleeve. Just give you more room. So when we get started initially, you can make a bigger incision to understand the anatomy better. But once you are used to the anatomy, you can make it a small incision like we just did. As you can see, the whole process of putting uh, suprasetabular resuscitating external fixation should only take more than 10 minutes. But, so depending on how long we want uh, the pin to be, we can put uh, two bars or uh, holding it like this, or if you have one uh, longer uh, bar, we can hold it together. We need four clamps for this purpose. Two more clamps. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling any distance? Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So, make sure you know you can lift the patient with this pin, which you can. So, put that there. Give us another round. So, you can tighten there. Yeah. So, Doing it with two bars gives room for sitting, uh, so the patient can sit comfortably if we put uh, two bars like this. And also for the gynae side, uh, also urology side, you know, they can, uh, they can, uh, yeah, tighten. Yeah, just use the same thing. Yeah, yeah, tighten. Okay, tighten. Get it close together. So what typically you would, when you are doing this, you will either be going to uh, uh, do pre preparatory pelvic packing or you are going to do IND. So you'll have an open wound already. So when you have that, you can also go through the wound and feel your reduction. So that's what I'm, I'm doing in this specific patient. So with a traumatic uh, wound, the uh, gynae side examined it earlier and they were able to reach to the fracture site. So that's what... Uh, I'm trying to feel here. So I'm feeling the fracture side. So the symphysis is actually opened the gap here, right here. You have to close it down. And I'll tell you when it's reduced. Close it down Bo on both sides. No, close, close the. Okay. You're losing it. Help me. You're just just on your side. Your finger. Yeah. So my finger is feeling the reduction here. A little more. That's a much thicker hand now. Yeah. There you go. Now it is closed. And you can tighten everything up. Okay, let's go now. 
this end thing here. Yeah. Okay. So after this, we'll do the pro proper uh, handy and uh, wash out of the wood. And the guy in the urology side will uh, continue with uh, your, their uh, examination and uh, further intervention. Thank you.